this uh, all india kisan sabha has been continuously fighting as you know in maharashtra all over the country <coughs> uh these long marches now this is the fourth one mm. in the last 5 years 2018 was the first iconic one then 2019 again in 2023 last month and now again 2023 april uh three four major issues are there first issue is concerning land most fundamental issue of land land rights now in this issue there are this thing concerned with the implementation of the forest rights act for tribals and also for non tribals <laughs> then there is the <clears throat> this has not been implemented in spite of all these marches the state government and the administration which is actually charged with the responsibility of implementing that act not at all being done so there is a huge amount of uh, this thing regarding that anger regarding that second thing is that Uh, there is what is called as temple trust lands or inam lands or wakf board lands here and that is not a small amount about 6 lakh acres of land in maharashtra is controlled by these temple trusts wakf board etc now what is happening is it is the working peasants who are actually tilling that land but none of this land is on their names it's on the name of the wakf board or the temple trust devasthan what you call so as a result the same thing that fra what happens it's not in your name you don't get any government schemes benefit you don't get any loans from the banks cooperative societies nothing and therefore you are absolutely hamstrung so that is the one thing that happens then there is the question of uh, various pasture lands grazing lands some places in thane palgar there is also old landlord lands the landlords were thrown out after the great adivasi warli revolt in 1945 so the land is on the names i mean of the landlords even now but it is being cultivated by the adivasi peasants but the names are the same and those are absent landlords they have gone to amdavad surat bombay all this so that thing should come on the names of the cultivating peasants that is the main issue then there is the last question about land acquisition land acquisition is going left right and center in many places uh, the 2013 uh, land acquisition act which was a very good advance over the earlier acts uh, that is not at all being implemented compensation is not being given properly to the farmers so that is another major bone of contention on which many farmers have come here also you know land acquired for new international airports highways uh, railway freight corridors <coughs> all this so that is one major issue basically this they don't want to touch the land issue because the real reason is that they somehow want to give up that land to the corporate lobby once you make all this land in the name of the cultivating peasants whether tribal or non tribal or anybody then the government i'm just telling you the thing thinking of the government why it is not implementing all this time they want that land to be given to the corporate lobby that is the main thing and that is what we are striking against uh, you got the point now that we don't want this we want the actual peasants to get uh, masters of the land the second very important point is regarding the msp which as we know is a country wide issue it was raised in this one year long farmer struggle uh, for the repeal of the three farm laws that was demand number 1 demand number 2 was msp at the rate of one and a half times the cost of production that was the dr ms swaminathan commission recommendation now that is applicable now even for this march also thousands of farmers have come because they are not getting remunerative price for their crops and many of these things because of the import export policies of the government which are totally faulty they want to import from foreign countries they have reduced the import duties like for example wheat never it has happened they have the modi government has reduced the import duties on wheat to 0% which has never happened before so all these things they are doing milk now they are including milk dairy products imports from new zealand australia usa and so many other countries so therefore that is one of the reasons why the prices of the 
Indian farmers are going down. Third major issue in this is regarding the climate change in the last few years. We are seeing that there is unseasonal rains, hailstorms, drought, floods. All these natural calamities have been very much on the increase. You can see it actually in the last five to seven years. This climate change has had disastrous impact on the farmers and as a result of it, now for example, this year, even last year, the year before, from 2020, there has been this big scourge of unseasonal rains and hailstorms. Exactly when the crop is ready for harvesting, big rains come and the crops are destroyed. Farmers get no compensation, not from the government, not also from the crop insurance companies. So they are just uh, out on a stick, absolutely. What do you do? Because all your, uh, whatever your, this thing, cost of production, what you have spent on that is all finished. And you are getting nothing in return. All your crop is also destroyed. So this is one very major thing. Last, this year also the same thing happened. Last year also same thing. So one major demand that in this March you are making is that give proper compensation for crop loss due to natural calamities. Fourth one we have taken up in this long March and also in the last one in March. That is concerning rural workers. We believe in this worker-peasant alliance. Kisan Sabha, we believe in that. You must have seen in the 5th April rally in Delhi, uh, organized by the CITU, Kisan Sabha, Agricultural Workers Union jointly. So all red flags, but all different organizations. So we came together all over the country from right from 2018. We have been having big joint actions of workers and peasants. So here in this long march, we have taken up this very important issue of the rural workers, construction workers, ASHA workers who are women, uh, Anganwadi workers, midday meal workers, all these are women basically. So therefore they are absolutely being shortchanged by the government, both the central and the state. They are being given a pittance as so-called wages. We are demanding that they should be uh, taken up as given recognition as full-time government employees. So on these issues, we are absolutely clear that the government must bend. And if it doesn't bend, then this struggle will definitely continue. That is the resolve of the All India Kisan Sabha. Uh, it's not easy to organize such marches. It's absolutely not easy. And now, last two marches, March and April now, in full sun, tremendous sun, you know, and there it's not easy to mobilize farmers. But uh, you see how we are doing it is because it's a very burning issue of the farmers for which they are coming themselves. You understand? Otherwise, they would not come had they not been really affected. And especially the land-related issues, they are extremely important, very close to the heart of the farmers. Even the MSP issue or the crop insurance issue, you know, compensation issue, all these, you see, on this, uh, we go out to the farmers, we have meetings, etc. And we then they come in large numbers. We go to them and say that if you want your issues to be solved, you have to come yourself. You know, you cannot uh, send somebody to actually struggle on your own. And they have come. Uh, see, to the government and to the people, the message that we want to give is that people will not take injustice lying down. You see, they have been taking it lying down for many years, up to now. But now we want to give that very strong message from the Kisan Sabha to the government and to the people. Uh, already that message was given in a big way. Of course, in the earlier long marches we had given in the Rajasthan, Mahapadao, and in all their seeker and other very big struggles that our Kisan Sabha led in Rajasthan, that they have given in Tamil Nadu, in many states, Kerala, Bengal, you know, Bihar, on land issues again. So all that has been given. But a major message was given by that one year long, huge and historic struggle in Delhi. Delhi farmer struggle for the repeal of the three farm laws. For one year, people sat, farmers from all over the country. Of course, North India was major, but it was fully supported by all over the country, 
I myself toured nearly about 10, 15 states at that time, and huge rallies of lakhs of farmers took place in Tamil Nadu, in Kerala, Karnataka, Maharashtra. You know, of course, in Punjab and all this, but Bihar, for example, Bengal. So all these things, you see, this we want to show that we will now not take it lying down, and we are going to demand our rights. That is the message that we want to give, and the other message we want to give is that if you struggle. you will win we won three farm laws had to be repealed that's not a ordinary victory you know the msp struggle is now on finally we say we don't believe for a minute that the modi government which is totally betrothed to the adanis and the ambanis there is no question of any change in that happening you know it cannot just be because it requires them for their elections it requires all that money it requires all their media power because all of them control everything so they will never leave the corporate thing and they will never take pro people policies the bjp government led by modi is the rss now they are trying to give all inject all communal poison just to maintain their power etc that we are seeing everywhere the things that they are doing the main message we want to give all over the country from this march from everywhere all the struggles that message we want to give to the country as a whole that this government must be defeated in 2024 the if this government continues there is no chance of any of you getting justice then justice will go justice in the sense uh, undeserved justice will only go to the adanis the ambanis the corporates both foreign and domestic and therefore that has to stop if this communal polarization and authoritarian attacks have to stop there is only one way we can do it through huge struggles all over the country and through all the opposition uniting together we will have to see that in 2024 the bjp rss government led by modi is defeated lock stock and barrel and an alternative government with alternative policies which will favor farmers and workers agricultural laborers students youth and women and all the other socially uh, backward sections of society they will actually get justice those radically different policies will have to be followed for that an alternative government has to come to power which will also defend secularism which will also defend democracy these are all casualties of the modi government last 9 years and therefore this has to stop therefore these struggles have to increase and a, a political atmosphere uh, has to be built in the country to see that the bjp is thrown out lock stock and barrel in 2024